Shani Fannies. <laughs> Welcome to Educating Shani. I'm Shani and I'm recovering from eating disorder. Hi Shani, hi. Um, so I have a vlog for you guys. It's the vlog of my birthday party with my family and it's hilarious uh, because my little, my little nephews, we, my sister gave me a gift that spurred the idea of telling like ghost stories in my mom's living room and <laughs> we were dying laughing at the little kids when they got up there to do their stories. So that is coming, that vlog is coming and then also the pumpkin carving. I think I'm gonna combine the both and get October over with because October is over with. Um, but I, uh, I'm starting to feel really sick today, like what Danny had sick, like bleh. Um, I have a fever right now. It just started a couple hours ago, and um, I can't keep anything down. Everything is acid and nasty. My stomach and my sinuses and my gums are hurting and everything. So, um, so I just thought instead of that vlog, because normally I would edit it tonight normally as if I do this all the time, my new schedule is that instead of going live at night, I edit a video and upload it. But... Tonight, I'm not going to be able to do that because I'm really nauseous already and I get really nauseated looking at screens for too long. So I thought instead I would give you a little personal update considering um, it's actually kind of been a while since I've done that. So, okay, so where do I start? Well, my health. Um, we think that I have a thyroid problem. We went, I went to the doctor last week sometime. Was it this week? very recently. We went to the doctor, they took my blood levels and checked my um, hemoglobin, was it an eight, which is bad. Um, you're, you're supposed to be at like, I think the average is 12 to 15 or something like that, and I'm at an eight. Um, but that's very common for me because I'm severely anemic and I always have been. Um, like, well, since my eating disorder anyway but even as a little kid I was I was anemic too anyway um so those were low but I also because I was like telling her can you please check my thyroid because I am so tired I can't stop sleeping I've been tired all the time constantly and I'm gaining weight for no reason at all haven't changed my diet haven't changed my meds haven't changed my activity haven't changed a thing and I'm all of a sudden gaining all this weight and I'm tired. I'm just const I'm just exhausted. Like I feel like I could go back to bed the second I wake up every day. Um, and like, I don't know what's going on. So we're waiting to hear back. Hopefully we'll hear back this week. Um, what the results are. I'm leaning towards thinking now that it is because of my family, my dad, my mom, my sisters, probably my brother. I don't know. They all have all had thyroid issues. My mom and sister have to be on meds for it. One of my sisters got a tumor on her thyroid, like thyroid problems run in our family and I don't, uh, so it wouldn't surprise me. My only thing is like, why would it just all of a sudden show up though? I don't know. Does anybody know a lot about this? Tell me in the comments below. Can you just develop a thyroid problem later in life? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know how, I don't even know how it works. I just know that I asked her to check it because I, because I knew that um, I'm like gonna fall asleep right now. <sighs> okay. I don't know. What is happening? Wake up. I'm here. I'm here with you. Wake up. Wake up, girl. Come on. There we go. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Um, anyway, I will let you guys know, obviously, when we get those results back, I would really prefer that it is just my thyroid not that it's not that big of a deal but I would rather it be that than something different like when you have thyroid problems you can take pills for it and I'm all about pills you guys know I'm not against medication um I think that medication helps people a lot and I feel like a lot of people get shamed for taking a lot of medication if they need it but I'm someone who's been sick almost my whole life with different um, health issues 
and I've had to be put on many different medications and when you find the right one you just feel so grateful when you finally find the one that helps with that symptom that's been bothering you for so long you feel so grateful that's how it was with my depression that's how it was with my IBS that's how it was with my my nausea problems and my pain and my my Prozac and you know getting my brain and mental state um, kind of where it needs to be chemically um, I don't know I just I think that it can be a huge blessing and I'm grateful for medicine so I feel like if it is a thyroid thing I'm not too worried about it um, I don't have any lumps or anything like my sister did so uh, <clears throat> we'll see um, it could also be mono she said it could be mono so we'll we'll find out this week I'm like I'm on fire I can feel my fever um, Anyway, I'll let you know. Um, other than that, what else? I'm trying to think what else we did at the doctor. Um, yeah, I think we have to wait till she gets back to me and see if maybe I need a blood transfusion. I think I do, but at the same time, I'm always really low. I'm always around an eight or a nine. There have been times where I've dropped to a six or a seven. Um, there was probably a time where I dropped even lower but didn't know it. So it's not like as bad as it's been in the past, but it's still really bad. That's still really, really low for your iron levels to be. Um, okay, eating disorder. Um, last night I purged and I immediately told Giggy which I'm proud of. Uh, I Marco Polo Giggy, who is my friend, one of my best friends in the world, who also happens to be a therapist, and she doesn't treat me or anything, but she's been very helpful. She's been so, so helpful during these times when I can't make it to therapy or I can't afford therapy. She can at least, you know, give me suggestions. She can't tell me what to do because she's not my doctor, she's not my therapist, but... It just helps to talk to somebody who has that much training sometimes. So I immediately told her, which was really cool. Like I immediately held myself accountable. Um, and we talked through it and, you know, what triggered it. And there's been a lot of stressful things going on in my personal life. And also um, a lot of really deep, deep... Um, sadness so anyway um, I don't know what else to say because I don't know if I feel like talking through it but I've just been really sad. So, again, I'm hoping that all of this is just some sort of thyroid thing so that a pill can magically fix it. That's not going to happen. I know that. But inside, I'm just like, I, I really can't take much more, to be honest. Um, and it's starting to take a toll on me physically, mentally, emotionally, every Lee, all of the Lees. Um, and my body is done. Um, but not given up. I never have. I never will. And I'm going to keep fighting. And remember that I'm so lucky because I get to see so many amazing people in my life. And I'm talking about you guys that come forward and share the hard things that you've been through. And while I'm not trying to invalidate what I'm going through, so many of you have gone through so much worse than what I have. And so it's very empowering to hear that, or it's very um, inspiring to hear that and to hear the things that you guys have gotten through and that you've lived through. I feel so lucky that my life is like this, that I can just turn on a camera and say how I feel and then a whole bunch of people will comment and a whole bunch of people will relate to me and a whole bunch of people will make me feel not alone. Like that's, like I feel so lucky, not everybody has that. 
um, like I, I just feel so lucky that this is my life. Um, and like Beth, Beth is, you know, we all know Beth. If you don't know Beth, she's um, in our community and, she, and a lot of people in our community are close with her, have become close with her and look up to her. She's in her 40s, I believe. She looks like she's in her 30s, but I think she's in her 40s. She's been battling cancer for years now, and um, recently it's taken a, it, it's, um, she's, sadly, she's going to pass very soon, and it's been taking a toll on all of us in the community, but I'm sure especially her mom, and her mom, and her family, and everything, and even through everything that they've been through, she's still smiling, guys, even if she's, you know, kind of out of it, and because they have to drug her for her pain, like they're just trying to keep her comfortable um, until, you know. But her mom was saying that even when she is conscious, even if it's for a second, she always smiles because that's what Beth does. And you can go see her channel, I'll link it below if you, don't, if you haven't seen it. And every one of her videos is like, hey, here's a cancer update, here's a chemo update. And the entire time she's smiling, the entire time she's thinking, she's saying how much she's thankful for she just recognized she highlights her blessings rather than her misfortune she shares what she's going through and then puts a positive spin on it and that's just such a unique thing to find on this earth so um i'm very sad about this and i know it's um i i just want to say if, if any of her family happens to be watching this i don't think they do but just know that your mom, daughter, sister, whoever she is to you, whoever Beth is to you, just know that she's had a really big impact on our community and we could not be more grateful for it. Um, she's taught me a lot. She's taught me a lot. So thank you for that. And um, anyway, my point is I'm not trying to invalidate because yes, what I'm going through is not as bad as what she is, but mine still does feel horrible and I need to acknowledge that. Hi, f hi, what are you, you scared the freaking shit out of me. Sorry. How long have you been standing <laughs> there? I almost said the F word, I can't edit this. <laughs> Don't edit it. All right. How long have you been listening? Five seconds, seriously. You lie. Mm -mm. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, they're not on fire. Uh -huh. You scared me. I'm sorry. It's okay. I actually Cause... thought you were asleep. <sighs> almost. I actually almost fell asleep on no. here. Oh. You want to say anything? Hi. I was just talking about Beth and oh, yeah. how I'm struggling, but that I'm thankful that I have a really cool thing where I can just like make a video and be like, oh, I'm struggling, and then hundreds of people will be like, oh, we get it, and we're, we, we're here for you too, and blah, blah, blah. So yeah. I was saying that Beth is always so positive, and so, and she's been through a lot worse than I have, but I also shouldn't invalidate what I am going through. I don't know, but yeah. anyway. Everybody's on their own level. Mm -hmm. You have anything you want to say? Uh, I'm going to go to sleep. Where's that? What? Where are you going? To sleep. Where is that? In my bedroom. Sleep is in your room? Mm-hmm. Crazy, huh? Where do I find the sleep? In your room. You don't know my room. That's our latest thing. We're so weird, guys. We talk <laughs> baby talk to each other. It's so weird. And lately, no matter what we're talking about, see, like, talk to me about something. Um, I'm going to build a set tomorrow. Why are you going down the set? Because people pay me money to do this. Why do they pay you money to do that? Uh, cause they need a set to be built for their show. You don't know set to be built. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> we'll be talking about anything and you just say, you don't know this, you don't, you don't know that. <laughs> you don't know my bed. You don't, you don't know, know sleep. Me. You don't know my hair. <laughs> Whatever we're talking about. Anyway, anyway, this one here has been a trooper having to put up with me for the last 15 years. And for some reason, he's still here. And I'm very grateful.
Because I love you. You don't know love. <laughs> 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 anyway, there is a little update for you. Expect the birthday vlog tomorrow. I think I'm. Let me know in the comments below. I feel like I should combine. Combine. Huh. I feel like I should combine. Combine. The, yes. Shut up. The birthday vlog and the part. What's it called? I don't know. Carving. Oh my gosh. Pumpkin carving. Garden, huh? Yes. The party. Yes. Okay. So should I combine my birthday party and the pumpkin carving party? No. Why? Because you have two videos you can do instead of just one. Yeah, but the sooner I get them out, the sooner I can start Vlogmas. You guys vote below. How about that? I say you do too. Okay, well, I love you and thanks for watching. <laughs> Remember forever and always that you're beautiful. Oh, you're worth it. And I am too. I love you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.